A question I've been getting a lot is, what the heck is management science? What is this course that I'm studying? Is it management? Is it science? Now, that's a good question because personally, uh, when I applied until like halfway through year one, I had no idea what the course was myself. But now I can safely tell you that it is a modern day course designed to turn you into kind of like a jack of all trades, master of some. So think of it as like a generalist, which you can kind of pick any specialism, right? And this course is quite unique because in the UK, I think only two universities, so UCL and Lancaster offer this course. And it originally stemmed from US universities like Stanford and MIT offering it. However, I have to be honest and say that the math in this course is really intensive. So personally, I did math and for the math for A-levels, and I'm still struggling a lot with the math here, especially in first year. But to be fair, so did pretty much the whole cohort. So that was kind of chill. And the course also teaches you a wide range of modules. So you have your basic courses like your finance, your math, your economics. Then you have your more like technical courses like your data analytics, your programming skills, electives, etc. And finally, you have uh, your more like way of thinking or strategy type of modules like design thinking, strategy by design and computational thinking, right? If you want more information and actually look up the courses yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. So do check it out. So now we move on to more course specific questions. So question, is this course competitive? And the answer is yes, this course is quite competitive. In my year, the acceptance rate was like one in 14. The year after it was like one in 17 and now it's like one in 20. Although the cohort sizes have been getting bigger each year. So my year it was 80 and the current cohort I think has like 240 students. There's also an additional personal statement. So after you submit your UCAS application, etc., if you pass the initial screening test, they'll actually send you another thing for you to write. So it'll probably be like seven questions more focused towards the course. So next question, what are the career opportunities or AKA where can you expect to end up from taking this course? And honestly, I'd say like a solid 80% of my cohort is ending up in either consulting or finance. So if one of these fields interests you, then this course is probably for you. But even if it's not, it's probably fine because our course touches upon so many different things like data science, computer science, economics, etc., that you can essentially fit anything into your CV to make it work. So another unique selling point about this course is what they call scenario weeks. And it's basically a fancy term for a live consulting project. So basically for a week, you travel down to this really nice place in Canary Wharf. Uh, you work in teams of five to complete a live consulting project. For example, like what is the impact of data analytics and AI on Royal Mail? You complete these findings, you present it and you submit a report on it. And although it's a really cool concept and you can definitely learn a lot from it, it gets quite repetitive because you're kind of doing this like every two months. So some people in our course love it, some people not too much. You got what I mean? <laughs> but overall, I'd say that this course is pretty well rounded. It's a really well funded course for sure because it's relatively new course and there's a lot of parties, events, networking stuff. But the main thing I'd say is probably the dedicated careers advisor. So usually if you're taking any other course, you share a careers advisor with like 20 other courses. So they don't really know who you are. They're not really personalized or like, you know, they don't really care much for you. But I can say that from my experience, our career advisors that we had have been really helpful and really helped us along the journey, at least me personally. So final closing thoughts on application advice. One thing I definitely say is to reach out to current students or alumni just to talk about the course, because not only does it benefit you that you can say, hey, I talked to these people, I know what the course is, but it also helps you in the fact that you make sure that this is something that you want to do for the next three years of your life. So definitely do reach out. But yeah, I think that pretty much concludes the video. If you have any questions, do leave a comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And until the next one.